Hey everyone, so here I am for December 9th, and I have pulled out a few things. One is from the uh, paper pad from Pink Fresh, and it's kind of like a beigey color with some snow. And then I'm just backing my number nine with some wood grain. Um, I do have some bits of wood grain throughout the album, so I'm totally cool with putting this wood grain on here, even though there's not going to be any other wood grain on the page. And the picture I have right now um, is kind of in between our kitchen and our dining room, where we have these two gnomes on a sleigh and these uh, twinkle uh, trees behind them. And um, the story that I'm going to tell is that my husband and I brought home a lady gnome this year. Um, last year we, or the year before, we got some dude gnomes, and um, there's been a little bit of debate on her name, so that's what I'm putting in my album for today. Now, it has nothing to do with the reindeer, but I like the reindeer, so he's going to stay on there. <laughs> um, I just popped him up with some foam, just, just to give him a little bit of dimension. And I'm kind of messing around with this nine, because I think... Um, I'm going to have it down here. Like this is where the number is going to be and I'm going to journal on that tag which is kind of just holding a placeholder right there in the upper left hand corner. Now, it does not turn out this way at all. And this little tree doesn't stay there either. I brought the tree in because I wanted to have some green on this side of the page because I have a lot of green on day number eight and nothing really over on day number nine. And since they are right next to each other, I wanted to have just a little bit of continuity, um, just bringing the color over. Not necessarily the same design um, or motifs, but I, I did want to um, bring over at least the color. And I end up bringing over the color and a bit of motif. So I try out this plaid paper because I am a huge fan of plaid and it doesn't make the cut, sadly. I am going to have to use that plaid paper soon, though, because I keep looking at it, and I really love it, and I just got to figure out what day it's going to be. And I also have some of these transparencies around my workspace because I've pulled in that transparency once already, and I'm going to pull it in again. And just like I said, I want a little bit of continuity. So even though I'm using a whole mix of supplies, I want to have kind of the same feelings going throughout. So I'm going to like repeat the holly and I'm going to repeat the snowflakes and the reds and the greens and the blacks and the creams and the wood grain and the gold, obviously. So this is where I decide that that number isn't going to be down here. I'm actually going to use this pattern paper, um, just kind of like a repeat for the deer that is there. And I'm just adding a little bit of washi tape. I was going to grab a label, actually, and put that there. And the only reason why I grabbed the washi tape was because it was closer than the labels and I didn't have to dig through it. So I get that on there. And I'm thinking it's going to need a little extra something right there, but I'm not exactly sure what it is. So I move back to the deer card. And I'm thinking, oh, is it the snowflake? And no. It is not the snowflake, and the snowflakes are not staying on that page. So they're going to be pulled off. And I'm kind of just flipping through my stuff, and I pull out these puffy stickers from Fancy Pants. And I'm like, the holly. This is great. I can bring in the green down here on this deer card. Um, I've got holly over on the left-hand side of the page, so it's fine to be on the right. And when I pulled up the twinkle word to move it over a little bit, I kind of tore it. I ripped, not kind of, I completely ripped that T off. And then the N is also a little ripped, but I just went with it and rearranged everything. And now I'm putting the holly down on the page, and I decide not to put those three stars up there. I decide to go with the holly, and that's so that I have the green up there as well. Now there is an ever so slight little bit of green on that washi tape, but it's not enough, so I bring it up. And then I'm going to throw on this other little bit of holly right here. I'm going to journal a little bit about the gnome and how I think her name should be Twinkle. And then that is gonna complete day number nine. So I will catch you guys later. Um, I'm trying to get this voiceover done in between baking some cookies. This is like second round of big time baking. So I hope you guys are enjoying your holiday season and uh, I'm gonna be 
heading in there and pulling out some cookies and maybe that will be my story for tomorrow is my second uh, round of baking. All right, I will catch you guys soon.